Hello everyone, it's Lobster Shorts, and I'm going to be testing this bread maker I got at the thrift store. I think I paid $14.99, I don't remember. I did show it in a previous video. Now I have used this bread maker before to make a loaf of bread, and it worked just fine. I see this brand in the thrift store all the time, so I'm not sure if people just get bored of their bread maker and thrift it very often, or if there's something they don't like about this one, but I thought it worked just fine. I'm going to be making cinnamon buns from the company's coming breads cookbook. I This cookbook is obviously very old and I'm just proofing some yeast now and I am going to be using the dough setting on the bread maker. Okay, so I have all the ingredients in. That does not want to close. There we go. And I am just going to set this onto the dough setting. How do I do that? There we go. And it's gonna take two hours. So this is one of the dangers of not using a recipe designed for your bread maker. My dough has risen way too high. It even lifted the lid of the bread maker. Now I have to figure out how I'm gonna get this out. Okay, so I've got the dough rolled out to about 9 by 12 inches, at least I think it is. I'm going to have to do that with the second ball. I'm going to need to cover it with butter, sugar, and cinnamon, and then put it in the pan. Okay, so I have it buttered, sugar, and cinnamon on the, the dough, and now I need to roll it and slice it into one-inch pieces. Okay, so even though I have the recipe, there's still like a ton here. I feel like this is my first roll and I feel like this one didn't go as well. This one rolled much better. I left a little end with no sugar or cinnamon on it so I could pinch the dough together and now I'm just gonna let these rise. I forgot to show you guys the cinnamon buns before I put them in the oven unfortunately but here they are after. Again, this is half a batch and there's tons of them and they seem to have turned out really well. I'm just gonna ice them and then eat them. Well, one of them, maybe two. Okay, so I've got one for each, myself and my spouse. They look fantastic, they smell fantastic. Can't wait to try one. Okay, so it looks really good. I put the icing on, I'm gonna try it. I love the texture. Honestly, the dough is a little bit bland. The icing is really good and helps it. Overall, pretty good. I think if I made it again, I'd put a little more salt in the dough. So here is the aftermath of the dough overflow. So it's gonna be a bit of a cleanup job here. 